I'm working on the sway bar links. Uh, the other side's stuck, and I noticed that I'm, I got a rub on the frame from these tires. I finally just noticed that. So that's what my issue is. See that shiny spot down there? So this is pretty common in the 4x4 world. And uh, let's see it under here, maybe. Right in the center up at the top there, some shininess on the frame, the subframe. That's real common. Uh, you can just notch that. It sounds uh, crazy, but you can notch the frame and weld in a little angle piece there. I'm in the process of, I hope you can see this. I've got to pop these uh, I'm just having a brain fart now. You know what these things are. <laughs> it's a brain fart, man. Anyhow. A little trick for you, a little leverage, stick a wrench in there, and you'll get that to go. Idle arms, yeah, remove the idle arms, so I can get to the screws underneath the sway bar, so I can get that down because I'm trying to get underneath here, and that's just spinning freely. I, I can't turn the top of the sway bar link nut because the bottom thing is just spinning. So I have to take this off so I can remove the brackets that hold the bushings onto the sway bar. Um, sorry about the camera movement. And then um, once the sway bar is free from the frame, it should loosen up a little bit here and take some tension off so that then I can spin that sway bar link out. And my plan is to put the longer ones in. Of course, there's one way over there. I don't know. Here's the other one right here. This sleeve is longer than the one that's on there now. So effectively, you know, that'll tip this up higher and give me a little bit more play, a little more flex in this steering or sway, you know, I think that just makes sense. So that's what I'm working on now. I really don't know what you can see, if anything. <laughs> wrench trick is huge you can break it so I wouldn't recommend like doing some crazy fast force type of thing on it just a nice easy just uh, lock that in there and these things here come right out I don't know if you're catching the high tube socks that's because these uh, mosquitoes, man, they like to get your legs for some reason. When I wear, when I pull the socks up, I don't have that problem. the spacer I made that's the new the other one has zero flex in it by the way that's the one that's been on there for over a year so I got a good quality setup so now I can get into the the bolts that hold these uh, bushings in place might as well pop those down and then replace them right now too they look more fun look at the you can see it oh, let's see if we get it from under here I can't. <sighs> Fuck. It's not a, it's actually a nut with a bolt sticking out of the frame here on this side. So I gotta use a deep socket. This is some BS, man. This is totally locked up under here. I'm gonna have to cut this with a sawzall to get it out of there so I can put a new one in. <sighs> I 
It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't get so fucking filthy. You know what I'm saying? My God. What a pain in the... There's nothing you can grab a hold of under there. I don't know if you can see what's going on. I can't see what you're seeing, but there's like this kooky... I'll show it to you on the other one. This is the bottom. And it's... There's these flat spots on here, but you can't... I wedge the screwdriver up in there against the inside of the... Uh, lower control arm hoping that would wedge enough but it doesn't it just spins and there's no way to grab it in there because the hole's not big enough so uh let's see what happens Be able to get the whole sway bar out. Well, I'm not taking the wheels off, so don't need to do that. Getting there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I cleaned these up with some simple green. Here's the old bushing from the passenger side. It's pretty rough. New ones. I mean, this is, uh, those things were shot, man. But I think a big part of that was the shorter link so we're gonna put some new ones on and see what happens I don't know if that's aimed right I don't know what you guys can see so. Okay, so most people put that forward. Wow, okay, that's kind of hard to pry open, but there we go. Now, I did order stop collars, but they're not here yet. So I'll have to put those on afterwards. The stop collar idea is... The idea... Oh my God, I'm rolling all over my back with this stuff. Ay, ay, ay. The stop collar thing is about keeping the sway bar from slide side to side. I don't know where anything is. It's all over the place. <laughs> all right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, this is tough. This is what I call, you heard me refer to it before, as blue collar yoga. And that's what it is. So now I can put the little clamps on and lightly, loosely get those in place without tightening them down yet. And then I'm going to put the sway bar links in. That is the plan, Stan. Alright, so got the other side started. I've got the two bolts in the control arm bushing started. This is going to go up in this hole here to the sway bar link end, and I'm gonna get that started. Just don't know what you guys can see, if anything, I apologize. Kinda of using the force here. Oh boy. 
that's not right. And that's what I was afraid of, getting it lost in there. So hang on. Okay, so <laughs> I just did like a 14 minute recording of me cursing, swearing, all by mistake. I had a hard time getting this uh, nut on the bottom here. I was pushing this thing the wrong way. You have to get the angle right. So I had to actually push it away. And then I was able to get a straight line on the socket. So I'm gonna bolt up the, uh, the bushing clamps then I'm going to tighten up the sway bar links, and then I'm going to put the uh, idler arms back up. And then uh, we'll be ready to go home, because I'm beat up, man. Today was one of those days. Okay, new sway bar links are in, new sway bar bushings are in. Everything's all bolted up and tight. You know, this is the, that's the thing, so... I don't want to knock, I'm not going to knock anybody like mechanics, but th this is not hard. This is easy stuff to do. It's just a pain in the ass and the neck and the back and the hands and the arms and the hips and the legs and you get dirty and it's frustrating at times, but it's easy stuff, you know, it's just... I'm just frustrated is all. Have a great day. Be good to one another. 